Hello friends, you're watching Political and today we're going to be talking about the progressive mob as they try to ban free speech, in this case targeting Jordan Peterson and John Cleese. With legal battles still raging around the outcome of the US election, it's only apt that we start looking at some of the side effects. One of those effects is that progressives, emboldened by what they think is a Biden win, have already begun to crack down on thought crimes and people who deviate from what they say is the objective truth on both sides of the Atlantic. We're going to be looking at two of these cases today, but make no mistake, there's plenty more to come over the next four years should Biden be sworn in as president, <laughs> and we could be looking at a very scary four years indeed. Thank you for tuning in to Political. We appreciate every single one of our viewers, and we love listening to your opinions. So please do tell us what you think of the woke mob in the comment section down below. Please do subscribe if you haven't already, and please do leave a like if you did like the video. So, Yayan, please tell us what is happening with John Cleese. Well, if uh, people aren't familiar with John Cleese, I just very quickly, he's a comedian here in, <clears throat> here in the UK and he did a um, series of films and sketches called Monty Python, which you probably are more familiar with. Uh, but that's the guy. He got into a bit of heat some time ago for defending J.K. Rowling, who, um, despite being the uh, an icon of the um, wokest left, uh, said some thought crimes in which she talked about how um, there are only two genders and this obviously caused her to fall out with Fader, with the mob, as they often do. They very quickly turned on her and he's just kind of been on Twitter again recently, but we've not spoken about this and so I thought it would be a good time to uh, give our kind of th thoughts and opinions on this. So I'll just read this from CNS. Monty Python alumnus and longtime British comedian John Cleese sparked her out on Twitter because he signed a letter in defense of author J.K. Rowling, who has defended biological sex, male and female, and criticized some aspects of the transgender identity movement. In a recent response, Cleese tweeted, I'm afraid I'm not that interested in trans folk. Both Cleese and Rowling have made clear that they do not dislike transgender persons or wish them harm Cleese himself tweeted i just hope that they're happy and that they treat them and that people treat them kindly however both of them among several other celebrities such as jermaine gray and martina navratilova have made it clear that they are defini definitive biological sexes genetic male or female and social problems surface when that basic science is ignored so this is what I always find quite funny about this is that when it comes to um, talking about things like, you know, gender dysphoria or transgenderism or whatever you want to call it, that obviously there is some medical knowledge and science there, but the left always wants to ignore the science that is inconvenient and try and focus on studies that support that claim. And that's just not how it works. Oh, absolutely. And... Um they not only do they ignore the science, they, they crack down on people who are advocating it, right? So what John Cleese has done here is he's voiced an entirely innocent opinion. Um, he said, you know, he wishes trans people well. He wishes he, he just hopes they're happy. Um, you know, how can you be criticised for that? Um, he's just saying there's, there's, there's more... Um, worse things going on in the world you know, in exactly the same way as Gina Carano last week actually who has a petition out to to get her sacked in exactly the same way as JK Rowling who actually came at this whole issue from a feminist perspective um it's it's utterly ludicrous the uh, amount uh, that these people are cracking down simply because someone is disagreeing with them they're not being hateful they're not even denying people's rights to identify how they wish are just merely stating their own opinion, um, the objective science that no one can dispute, and yeah. you know lefties, you know they're they're erupting over it and calling for their sacking and losing their careers. It's awful. I think yeah, the I think the bottom line is listen, it's not really so much about your opinion on transgender um, people or or or, the, or, the, or or it happening or people having sex changes or whatever or this kind of thing. There's various different branches of that argument and when it comes to like competitive sports or whatever for one and that kind of thing and those are whole different discussions the thing is they're making a fairly un well an incredible it's a completely uncontroversial statement which is there are only two genders and, and i know some people like you know like to try and um kind of tease and goad and troll people by who, who obviously don't believe that by throwing it in their face and whatnot 
but that's not actually what they're doing. Um, they're just saying it <laughs> in, a, in a context that's completely innocent. Um, and it's just a perfectly logical, um, objective, scientific fact. Um, it's not having to go with people who identify or whatever, different genders or anything like that. And everyone wishes those people, you know, well and hope that they are um, kind of, you know, are comfortable living in the world and, and all of these kind of things and become comfortable with who they are and that they're, you know, always able to talk to people about whatever, like in the same way that we all are about our own issues in life and uh, or whatever or things that we're going through. So that's fine. Um, but they're not talking about that and they wish them well. They're just making a completely un uncontroversial statement. But speaking of that, anyway, let's talk about Jordan Peterson because it comes in under that, it's that same umbrella really of of the issues of the woke left just going after people and trying to cancel people for thought crimes effectively yeah definitely so as you may or may not know jordan peterson is releasing a new book uh, and vice reported on tuesday that peterson's book has start, sparked an emotional outcry within the canadian publishing giant uh, Penguin, uh, with an effort by employees to pressure the company into cancelling the book's release. According to the report, several employees confronted management of Penguin Random House Canada, a subsidiary of Penguin Random House, at an internal town hall on Monday, and dozens more have filed anonymous complaints about PRHC's plans to release the latest work from the politically and culturally outspoken progressive. He's an icon of hate speech and transphobia, and the fact that he's an icon of white supremacy, regardless of the content of his book, I'm not proud to work for a company that publishes him dead one town hall attending he is also a member of the lgbtq community and i mean so what we're seeing here is whereas before we were seeing a kind of top-down perspective and we're seeing lots of celebrities try to you know people are trying to cancel those celebrities but what you're having here is far more dangerous because whatever you think of jordan peterson um and obviously issue most people listen to this love him he doesn't have the nobody has the right to stop him uh publishing a book to um and especially a self-help book that has nothing to yeah. do with politics you know there is value just by this book existing and <laughs> it's akin to book burning what they're doing yeah definitely like book book burning is a is is a good way of putting it and Listen, this isn't about whether or not John Peters is the white supremacist. I mean, obviously, he's not a white supremacist. I mean, there's there's no tangible evidence whatsoever to indicate that he is in any way, shape, or form. It, it, it prejudice in any way whatsoever, um, and has dedicated his life to just understanding clinical psychology and uh, you know understanding people's motives and and kind of like, I suppose his work mostly focuses around kind of the biological impact um, on our on our thought processes mm. really and there's nothing un uncontroversial about that either it's, he offers like you say lots of good advice but here's my sort of main issue is um no one has a monopoly on the truth okay so obviously you can't allow particular institutions whether it's the media or big tech or a book publisher who have this tremendous amount of power from dictating or deciding what is allowed and what isn't. Because if you do that, then you have you no longer have free speech. You have a group of elite deciding what the narrative and sentiment in the general public discourse is. And if you have no free speech, then you have no true democracy because these people then influence who our leaders are. And if you have no true democracy, then you have no bulwark against extremism and dictatorships and totalitarianism. And it doesn't really take anyone with a reasonable knowledge of history and a bit of conventional wisdom to follow through that rational thought process to understand it and realize why canceling people that you don't like is a bad idea. We all know that, which is why we like, you know, go a bit insane reading about all of these things that are happening and how they're generally accepted. So, but these people, they're not rational actors. They're, they're political zealots who are so overcome and indoctrinated by this ideology that they ignore all the rationality. Um, and it's dangerous because it's becoming more and more prevalent. And so we have to call it out all the time and do everything that we can to fight against it. That's our responsibility in many ways. Definitely. You know, the ideas should speak for themselves, okay? If if you disagree with an idea, then you should be able to challenge it and your idea will come through. 
But what the left here is doing, what the progressive mob is doing, is they are trying to ban ideas from being uh, espoused, from being uh, uh, revealed to the public. And that is dangerous for any democracy. And so there you have it. Um, obviously, in political, uh, a bit of doom and gloom, um, but uh, we try our best to be positive about these sorts of things. Um, I would suggest you go and buy Jordan Peterson's book, because I know I will, uh, if anything, just to annoy uh, the lefties. Um, I hope you enjoyed the content today. Uh, again, please do subscribe if you haven't already, and if you are interested in the content, because we love you subscribers. Uh, we have a really cool community here, and we'd love to expand it more and more. Please do leave a like, and please Please do leave your comment as well. That's the most important thing. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you next time.